Yo, welcome back everybody to a Bandy Peach Life 151 deck video, and today we're looking at a super turbo Maridon deck. Y'all already thought Maridon was already a super fast and powerful deck, but what if we turn it from a V6 engine into a V8 engine and put even more steam in this deck? And that is going to be with the new item, Energy Sticker, which can also put energy into play. With its effect, flip a coin if heads, attach a basic energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. This is another way to get lightning energy into play. Obviously, we do have Flaffy in the deck too, which also gets you energy onto your bench Pokemon. But sometimes there's matchups you don't want to put multiple Flaffies in play because of Greninja and Sableye. And it is nice to have the extra energy cell. Even on your first turn of the game, if you have to like squawk a Billy your hand away to draw a bunch of cards, you lose an energy or two, that energy can be put back with Energy Sticker. Sometimes flipping a coin on Energy Sticker and flipping heads can allow you to take a turn one knockout. It's another way to get energy into play on top of already having Electric Generator in the deck to power energy into play. Sticker is also pretty decent with Raichu to put even more energy into play too. So Energy Sticker seems like a really cool card in Maridon, and I really want to try out the Super Turbo Maridon deck in today's video. Maybe even potentially getting up to like six energy, seven energy in play in a single turn could be kind of insane with this combo of cards. Before we dig into the video show too, the sponsor Card Cavern TCG is always if you're looking for any PCG Live packups, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern is code line for the cheapest. So if you're looking for any set like the main set 151, or of course any other older set like Obsidian Flames or how they evolved or you want to get celebrations codes or irl product to car cabin also irl cards over there too if you get anything at car cabin at the checkout use the discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and help our card cabin shout out card cabin check them out and make sure to use code ldf if you any codes up there also make sure to check out the shovel squad down below too every monday i post a new video over on their channel and you can check out my second channel down below for some extra content too um, I posted a lot of videos looking at new cards that got revealed and some early deck lists for Paradox Rift. And if you want to watch some Paradox Rift pack openings, make sure to check out yesterday's video where Pokemon sent me two ETBs of Paradox Rift and two booster boxes of Paradox Rift. We opened up 90 packs of Paradox Rift in yesterday's video. Definitely do not want to miss out on that. And make sure to check out the podcast down below, the Mental Might Pod, every Friday. Me and Linty upload an episode of our pod every Friday. Definitely go check out episode 13 we just posted. So here we go with the list. It is a Maridon deck. I mean, it's, it's just, you know, everything you've seen Maridon. Tutu Flaffy, Flying Pikachu, Raichu V, Raikou V, Mew. Uh, the reason why we're playing Pikachu, I guess some people might ask, why aren't you playing Zero Aura? Well, it turns out Flying Pikachu is just better in the deck because it's a better Cramorant, Spit Target. You don't give up a prize as easily. Because then go knock out Zero Aura, Sableye, you know, Flaffy. Flying Pikachu also is a good partner for Forest Seal Stone, which sometimes you want to put a Bravery Charm on your early game Raikou, not Forest Seal Stone. And that's why Flying Pikachu is good. And sometimes you get to bail yourself out with Fly or Thundershock. And uh, yeah, everything else, just normal stuff. I'm not playing the path because we kind of cut the path in the Judge package and instead crammed in um, energy stickers for the extra turbo. Uh, we are going to be playing Beach Court as a stadium instead, which obviously is a great card in my ride on too. Um, Really, the only cards to other, you know, cards I maybe would like to play is maybe, like, Drapion or Spirit Tomb, just to help a little bit against, like, Mew and stuff. By the way, Mew EX is actually not bad in this deck either, um, because, yeah, you can build up with Flaffy, but you can also Energy Sticker to your Mew. Sometimes you can go Energy Sticker heads on your Mew on the bench, Dynamotor to the Mew, and then attach from hand and building up a single Mew in one turn in your Maridon deck, because otherwise, you can't Generator to it, and there's matchups, again, where you don't want to put two Flaffy in play, you can't put two Energy on Mew that easily, that's where the Sticker comes in clutch, you'd even Sticker to Mew in the late game, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, let's go show off my Super Turbo Maridon deck scene action, and let's see if this deck can win some games with the addition of Energy Sticker included. All right, trying out Turbo Maridon, pretty good start, we're up against Tina, it looks like, that's fine. Uh, I think Tina's beatable for Maridon. We have Mew, we have Raichu. Well, you know what's busted? We got energy sticker. Yeah. We got all the energy out things in the deck, which is good. So let's go Tanum unit for, I guess, Maridon and Pikachu. Could squawk ability. I think I want to hold the hand because I do have, like, Beach Court. I don't really see a reason to get rid of the hand here. Could switch card into the Raikou. I don't really want to waste my switch card, though. So I could do Fleet Footed here. I could switch card in a Pikachu, which I probably should do. Yeah, let's Generator. We got one energy. I will take it. We can put that onto... Uh, I could... Maybe I do have the Squawk ability here, actually. Hmm. No, let's put that on Raikou, and then we'll retreat into it. I think this is fine. I do want to build a Maridon, though, instead of Raikou to knock out Tina, but we'll go Fleet-Footed. Ooh, we got Boss. Look at that. Got the Bravery Charm. Not really gonna make a difference. Yeah, I want to hold on to this beach court, right? My opponent plays path. 
it'll be good to make sure we have our stadiums. We have Iono and Boss. Like, are they just Abyss Seeking? Could do that. They also get to be playing Arctina. Judging from the Arceus. No, oh, it is Lost Tina. I was about to say. Judging from the Arceus sleeves, this could just be Arctina. But it is Lost Tina. Which is fine. We do have a Chorus, but no Battle VIP. Will the Chorus get a VIP? They lose an Iono, which is good. Could make our Iono stronger. Yeah, we'll see if we can knock out this Tina this turn and pop off. There's a Comfy. All right. There's an energy for the Com Oh, the Tina. Are they Abyss Seeking? They might just be Abyss Seeking here. And if they're Abyss Seeking, I'm fine with that. Because then we can Iono them. No, they have a rope. Yeah, they got that. That's fine. They got one flower selecting here. If, I can, if they only get one basic here, we can maybe rope the Tina back up. Let's see if this flower selecting gets them a basic out, like a VIP or an S-Ball. Let's see. They're taking a second to play it. That must mean it's a good flower selecting. That means we could have Iono to disrupt this if they... Uh, don't do anything else after this. They could be sitting on something good. They get rid of a path. That's fine. We have the beach court. They play a path down. That's fine with me. We got beach court. Though I don't really know if I'm even going to play the beach court. No, oh, they're going into the Tina. If they don't have another Tina, that's fine. Okay, so we definitely want to knock this thing out now. 100%. 100% want to knock this out. All right, what are they? Abyss seeking Super Odd and Boss? Not bad. There's Raichu. Hmm, it's a little too early to... Put that into play. I don't really want to put Raichu into play now. Ooh. I am in a tandem unit, though. Four. Should I get another Marie? We haven't seen Greninja. And they do have water energy, but there's one in the Lost Zone, which actually makes it harder to pull off Greninja. So I'm going to go double Marie. And we're just going to Iona. Because this matchup, we do need Raichu to really carry us in the mid games. Let's see if we can knock out this Giratina. Not with this hand. This hand, unfortunately, does not have what I'm looking for in it. We can fleet-footed for an extra card. Another energy. Oh, no. All right, Lightning Rondo. Hopefully, my Raikou doesn't get KO'd. All they need is a Colrus, though, to knock me out, which is kind of scary. Yeah, this hand is pretty mid. No generators. No... I mean, we don't have energy in the discard, but we also didn't get any, like, cool energy sticker combos, which sinks. And Iono is a lie, because they still found a Colrus experiment anyways. Of course they did. Hopefully, they don't have Giratina Mirage Gate. That would be great. Yeah, hopefully our poor Raikou doesn't get cooked here. We'll see, though. Come on, Raikou. You can do it. You just got to survive one turn. So I don't want to... I don't want to have to knock this thing out. I would rather just Raikou this thing twice. They get rid of a Manaphy and a Kramer Ant. Right, let's see what else they have here. Got to get Flaffy, too. We'll see. They need Mirage Gate and a Tina V-Star to knock me out. Can they pull it off? They have Raiding Greninja. Okay, there's that. It's not good. I could have kept the, the path in play, but I also I wanted Fleet Footed and Maridon, right? They got off a water, which is good. There's a Nest Ball. Get a second comfy. We can always use Mareep 2 as a rope target. A third comfy. They're going all in on the comfies, aren't they? They might actually try to Sableye me this turn to knock out both Mareeps, which would actually be pretty bad. This is where maybe Energy Sticker carries us. No, they still had a Mirage Gate. No shot. Don't tell me they got the knockout, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. My Mariku was so young. No. They didn't get another Giratina down, though, which makes me, like, okay to just knock this out again. <laughs> just need more energy, though. I need stickers and generators. Jet energy? Uh-oh. That'll help them get to Giratina and V-Star. They just got to get the V-Star off the flower selecting. We'll see what they grab off this comfy. Sableye gets Lost Zone. That's good. Did they find the V-Star, though? Let's see it. They did not? Well, maybe they did. But they're going into another comfy. I don't have a boss in hand, so I can't boss Tina. up. All right, we don't got to deal with Sableye. They are, both Sableyes are in the Lost Zone. There's no way those two cards aren't just, like, insanely important cards. There's no way you Lost Zone two Sableyes. That's crazy. Especially when I have two Mareeps in play. Don't mind if I do. Well, good thing we have Iono in hand. We just Iono them. Can they Greninja me this turn? They've already retreated, so unlikely. It's unlikely. I mean, they could Greninja, but it's unlikely. Fortunately, I have no boss. Another Tina coming down. Can I get a boss, please? No. Okay, no knockout. Let's go. What do we draw? Not a boss. Another energy. That is just not what I'm looking for. Rough, 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 rough out here. We'll flip footed. See, we get four sealer boss. Oh my god, a fourth energy, bro. What the heck? I 
I mean, they are out of Sableye. We know that much. Do I just not Iono them? I'm actually tempted to not play. I don't want to give them six new cards. I would give it Iono certainly gives them Giratina V-Star. I mean, I need to see more cards, though. We do have Raichu in hand. Those, like, if they path me again, they're down two, but they like drop another path on me. I can't get Raichu in the play. I'm very tempted to hold the hand here. I don't want to get Greninja, though. I'm just going to hold. I don't know if this is correct, but my opponent did not play a V-Star. Now, I, I'm going to Iona them into v -Star. I'm still going to make them work for the V-Star, I think. Okay, there we go. We got a research. But I don't know if I really want to play re I mean, we get... The other thing, too, they knock out my Raikou this turn, or they take a two-prize KO. We can just, like, Iona them to four cards. They bring in the heavily damaged Tina. Let's see if they get the V-Star here. Yeah, I'm going to make them work for the V-Star. I'm going to make them work for it, because they might not find it. They didn't promote Comfy, which is very odd. There's a Colrus. It's fine. This makes my Iono stronger. There's one less supporter they have. Their hand's just going to be full of good cards. And then I can just Iono their hand down low. Because if I Iono them, right, last turn, I would have just gave them the V-Star anyways. So I might, I might as well just make them work for it. I think it's better to just not Iono them there. Especially when they don't have any Sableye left, probably, in their like, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, there's the V-Star. They got it. We can knock it out Maridon, hopefully. Just got to find Sticker, Flaffy, Generator, any of those cards. We should be able to KO it. And then we get to Iono them to four, which is pretty good. We just got to Raichu it. Okay. Let's see what the top deck is here. There's the Generator. Uh, okay, I'm going to Tandem Unit. Is there a Raichu in there I can shuffle out? There is, okay. I don't know if this generator's going to hit. We just need one energy at the very least. Okay, or double energy. At Alrighty then. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Wow. Double energy generator. We had four energy in hand. I was not expecting that. All right. Let's Iono their hand down. I mean, I, I might Iono them into the knockout. They have Beach Cord Greninja still, but, you know. There's a sticker. Go ahead and play that. No, it failed. That's fine. No worries. Not even sweating it. Yeah, I think just grab this. Grab Flaffy. I do have Mew. I gotta remember we have Mew. I do want to get the Flaffy here. We'll tan. We'll Dynamo or Tandem Unit. Put one on the Flaffy. <laughs> Spread the energy out a little bit just in case. I mean, if they boss my Raichu, that's fine, right? At least Tandem Unit another one out. All right, take the knock on the Tina. Take our two prizes here. Four and three, help me out. Double energy. I mean, yeah. Well, I wish that energy sticker got heads, though, because then we would have had three energy in play. Flaffy attach would have been five. That would have been a knockout. It's actually unfortunate we didn't get that energy sticker, but you can kind of see why this turbo deck is kind of cool, because if that energy sticker just flipped heads, we would have had five energy in play to kill the Tina next turn. But we can still find one. They found their last chorus off my Iono. Of course they did. That's absurd. I guess we could have got Roxanne, which would have been annoying too. I guess I'd rather Chorus than Roxanne. Chorus isn't a guaranteed. Roxanne's easier to pull off knockouts with than Chorus. They could still whiff. Again, I don't know why they didn't promote Comfy though. I actually don't understand why they didn't promote Comfy. <laughs> that was very strange. Actually, why did they not promote the Comfy? They, bro, there's a beach court in play. What? Why would you not promote Comfy? That's crazy. I mean, we're not getting bossed. So that means that if we can draw like some playable cards, we can hopefully still okay with Raichu and they don't get another Tina down I mean it's unlikely they can attack Tina three times it's actually good they Requiemed there then lost impact that's actually good that they did Requiem last turn over lost impact it's gonna be harder to attack with Giratina V-Star three times now I think wouldn't mind another Iono though we'll see what happens my opponent does have the Chloris they're taking a minute to play it so I mean if we can knock it KO'd here that'd be great the only downside is I did get rid of the uh I did get rid of that switch card. I wanted to prioritize boss over switch card, which I think was correct. But switch card would have been good because I just went switch card boss, but I would have had to get rid of the boss anyways. I think it's better to hold on to boss than switch card in this scenario. Because they could like cram me this turn and I just retreat Raichu, knock out Tina. I think it's always better to hold on to uh, boss over switch card in that scenario. I don't know if we should have attacked, but they could like try to, they could have like, if they didn't have anything, they could have like stalled my Flaffy, but... It would have been annoying if they had Sableye, I guess. But what if they are playing three Sableye? It's crazy that they lost on both of their Sableyes. I have never seen a Giratina deck do that before. Okay, let's see. They need Mirage Gate, V-Star. Can they pull it off? They also have to have energy in the deck. They're also down some energy right now. 
They have to have the correct... They could have energy in hand, clogging it up. They took a minute to play that Chorus, which is interesting. So they have to have, like, specifically the right amount of cards to deal with me. And if I can draw anything here... They pass? Okay. And speak of the devil. Okay, they can see. I don't, I don't know if their game froze. I've never seen a Tina Dex game freeze before, but we'll take that. All right, playing against Charizard here with our Super Turbo Maridon deck. This is a matchup where Raichu is going to have to shine. Um, Yeah, we're just going to have to abuse Raichu. Our start is not bad. We can get Squawkabilly. But I do want to try to Energy Sticker. I guess I can Energy Sticker to the Mareep, I guess. Um, but we'll hopefully we can beat my opponent. They have Entei. Entei's K. That's annoying. I don't play Zapdos, so we don't have a way to one-shot Entei. As easily, we have to Raichu it, but we'll see. And they just passed. Only one Charmander. We can take advantage of this and actually kill the Charmander. And look at that. We got Generator. We can actually try to accumulate a lot of energy here, which is pretty good. Do we have Squawk Billy? We do. I'm not sure I really want the Pikachu. No, I'll take Pikachu. I think we'll do this. We'll Tandem Unit for uh, Raikou. I probably need... Do I need both Flaffies? We did Prize of Marie. So I think for now we can grab this. Bench Marie. We will Ultra Ball. We're definitely going to kill this Charmander. So we'll ditch the Escape Rope. We'll grab ourselves a Squawkabilly. And we can switch cart into Pikachu. And we can start the turn off with a Generator. We got an Energy. There we go. We can put that on Raikou. But we ain't done yet, folks. We got the energy sticker. Okay, what do we got? Energy sticker. We got heads. Look at that. And just like that, we built up our Raikou in one turn. Thanks to energy sticker. That's pretty awesome. Then we can squawk and seize here. Not sure what I'm really looking for. We got a bravery charm. I will happily take that. We'll retreat Raikou. I'll attach. We have a four sail stone, which I guess we'll play. We can research while we're at it. Let's try to accumulate a ton of energy. We got double generator. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, Maridon is so sick, man. I love it. <laughs> so silly. We got another generator. Oh, my God. Back-to-back -back double gen hits. I don't... That's crazy, dude. The best part is we still fleet-footed. Draw a card. Another energy. Look at that. The only downside is we can't knock out the Entain one hit, but that thing's not attacking me next turn. And just like that, thanks to energy sticker and triple generator in one turn... We were able to put a buttload of energy. We have six energy in play in a single turn thanks to the generator and that energy sticker. That is kind of bananas. We have a really good hand next turn. We got bosses in... Uh, yeah, I got boss. We can boss up my opponent's Charmander if they bench it. Yeah, we have a lot we can do. This is a really good hand. Uh, my opponent is getting clapped. The only downside is I can't one-shot that Entei. There's no Zapdos in the deck. So we aren't able to use the Pogo Zapdos to let us knock him out with on, but that's fine. We we As long as we basically just sit back, build up energy for Raichu, we can just go back-to-back -back kills on two Charizards, and that's all we really want to do. Yes, looking pretty good. My opponent is definitely in a bad spot. They might have just given up. I I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. We just, like, super turboed them into Oblivion. They might not even be playing here, and let's see. Do they have anything else they can do here? Nope, they are playing the game. Okay, they research... Ooh, wow. That's a lot of good cards. Two Cynthia's and a Pidgeot. Two. Why would they not play one of those Ultra Balls? I actually don't understand why they did that. Okay. Free dub. Six energy in one turn with Super Turbo Maridon. What do you know about that? Again, Shen Pao. And my opponent flips over Shen Pao. So I need to knock that out. And our hand is looking pretty good. You know, if we can find some stickers, some generators to hit double energy, I can kill it with Maridon. And that's all I need to do is just take the first two prize knockout. Pokey stops. They're playing Canadian Shampoo. Can they find a Battle VIP? They do not. They get an Ultra Ball. And they lose a Bax and a Pokey Stop in return. That's not good. Funny enough, I could play Pokey Stop too. Because we have cards like Energy Sticker and Generator, we have we have a lot of items we could get. Oh wow, Ultra Ball double beebs. They have a rod in hand, probably. And they gotta get the sticker here. Or the sticker. They gotta get the VIP. Yeah, there's super rod. Do you play that first though? Because I feel like. Because that decreased the chance of getting a battle VIP, right? Okay, we'll see if they get anything off concealed here. Can they find a battle VIP? They get a Bidoof. No Frigibacks? All right, so we need to knock out the Shen Pao here. There's Iono. There we go. We can play that. All right. So we'll Tandem Unit. Just going to go all in on Maridon. Tandem Unit again. We have 
squawk. We do not have squawk ability. Let's actually get them through that Iono then. We do have three stickers and three generators to help us get there. Okay. Cool. Play this. We don't have Mew, do we? We don't even have Mew in the deck. What a sin. Hmm. All right, well, generator. Okay, there we go. Two energies. We're getting there. Well, I think I'll wait to Pokestop. We can also get a Switch card off that. All right, well, Iono. Let's see what we got here off the Iono. Ooh, we got Sticker. I didn't get a Switch card. Okay, that's fine. We'll go Generator. Oh, my God. Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> back to back. Double energy. That is gross. Okay. Pokestop, give me a Switch or something. Okay, that's fine. Come on, Sticker. Get going. Flip heads. Let's go. <laughs> We'll pass. All right. Had I attached the active, I could retreat it. I think it was correct, though, to try to gamble on the, the Pokestop. We have a ton of energy in play, though, which is all that matters. So, yeah. Maybe I should have put the energy in the active. But, like, again, I can high roll a Switch card off a of Pokestop. So, I don't know. Either way, we've got a good setup. They don't even have a Frigi backs in play. If they only get one down, I can also boss it. But I guess let's kill the, Sh the Shempo here, which I'll probably just end up doing anyways. We have a pretty good hand for next turn. Sticker flipping heads is pretty cool. We have Raichu V. Like, we have so many options right now. It's kind of crazy. We got kind of the nuts. Are they going to Pokestop again? They could lose an Irida. They mentioned another Shenpo. Yeah, we have Maridon and Raichu, which can KO their Shenpo. There's a Cross Switcher. A third Pokestop gone. All right, there we go. Have a high odds of Beach Court sticking, which could be good. Let's see if they have an Escape Rope. Or they're going to play the Cross Switcher. It doesn't really matter the Cross Switcher, obviously. We have an Energy in hand. Yeah, the energy sticker could have bailed us out. There's the Beebs. Hmm. There's the Bibberol. Yeah, I can't knock a Frigi back out. I think we just, yeah, we just kill the Shempa. We just have to basically take two prizes for two prizes now to win this game. I guess I can Hailblade for 120 Greninja me. I don't know if they're going to do that, though. Find another, uh, the other bravery charm. They can't really do that as easily. There's the superior retrieval. Hmm. They haven't played Nirity yet, which is interesting. Okay, they got four cards in hand. Let's see, do they have anything else? There's an energy on the Shempo. So, yeah, are they going to Hailblade for 120? No, but 120 90 isn't even a knockout. That's only 110. It's not even a knockout, actually, on my active. Probably, they should probably retreat here into Greninja, to be honest. They don't know I have boss. I have a three-card hand. It's always correct to retreat Greninja, right? Yeah, it's always correct to retreat Greninja. No, they actually take the attack. Okay, sure. Hmm. Okay, free two prizes. Yeah, I feel like you always retreat into Greninja or cross switcher into Greninja. I have a three-card hand. They don't know I have a boss, but I do have a boss. And yeah, we have 100 HP, so Greninja can't even knock me out. That's crazy. All right, what do we draw? Hey, look who rolled up. All right, all right. Okay, with the Maridon. We'll go for the energy sticker. Try to get the other Maridon powered up. Tails, that's fine. Styono. They might be sitting on back Excalibur. You never know. I mean, they're probably going to get a rare Kenny backs anyways, but we'll just play the Iono now, obviously. Nice. We got Stuff. Generator. Okay, it's a miss. That's our, what, third generator? It's fine. Uh... I don't really want to put Beach Court in play. But I also don't really want them to have Pokey Stop. But if they they could play it and get like bad luck, I'm just gonna knock him out. I think I'm gonna save the hand. I could have got Flaffy, I guess. But I I, I want to get rid of anything in the hand just yet. The Ultra Ball. We'll take our two prizes first. Mew and Bravery Charm. There's the Bravery Charm. I don't know if that's needed anymore, but you know, just a thought that counts. All we have to do is just go back to back knockouts with Raichu and Maridon to win. So pretty likely we're going to win this. We'll see if they got the Rare Kenny backs. They probably have an Irida here. Wouldn't be surprised if they have Rare Kenny backs Calibre already in hand. Oh, they're going Pokestop first. All right, three items. Look at that. Good items too. Retrieval and Ultra Ball. They probably have the candy in hand if they don't have the Irida. Um, we'll see if they're playing Vacuum. Some Shen Palace play Vacuum. Some don't. Let's see if they have the Vacuum. Yeah, we still have two energy stickers. Because we're probably going to have to attack with just Raichu and Maridon. We're probably going to have to go Raichu next turn, depending on whether or not 
we can find more good stuff. Because I don't want to put two Mareeps in play and give my opponent an easy two prize KO with Flaffy. See, we can't do that. Yeah, we can't We can't put Mareep in play. I can't give my opponent two free prize. Because I, I, we need them to attack with Shempire every turn. And I can't put those in play. I can Bravery Charm this so that they can't knock me out with Bax Calibur, which is good. We basically want to avoid them being able to KO something for one prize. And that would not be good. I mean, I still have all my boss, but still, it's like, I just don't want to be in that situation. Because against Shempire with Maridon, you basically just want to go two prize, two prize, two prize. You want to make it very hard for your opponent to knock out a two-prizer with a one-prizer. That's why we're not putting two Mareeps in play, because I can't let them go Greninja for an easy two-prize knockout. Just not a good idea. They are out of Bidoof and Bibberol. I mean, there's a world where I can try to kill Bibberol and then Iono. It's not going to work. They do have a Cross Switcher here. I mean, they have to KO the active. This Maridon has to be KO'd. I guess they could go Cross Switcher, Baxcalibur, KO Maridon this turn. Are they doing it? But I have four Seal Stone for boss, so it's like I just boss your Shempo anyways. So it's like, that. my active Maridon is going to kill you anyways. I don't know if this is even the right play. But I guess they kind of have to do this. Greninja, that can't... They can hit me for 90, but it's like, that's not going to cut it either. They kill Mareep, I'll just bench it again. This is an interesting play for my opponent. I don't necessarily agree with this, because they don't have a knockout on my Radiant Gre Oh, They don't have a kill on my, Shem or my Maridon with the Greninja. And I have four Seal Stone for boss. I feel like, yeah, I don't know. This is just, I mean, it's a bad spot for them to be in, but still. Are they going Greninja? They are going Greninja. I think it would have been better for them to go Bax Caliber, right? I feel like you just go Bax there. But I, okay, sure. It was actually really good for us. We'll just knock out the Gurdon. We'll just boss KO the Shen Pao. Are they even going to knock out the Mareep? Like, I guess they have to. I promise if I put another Mareep in play, though, I give my opponent an easy out to being able to, like, boss. I don't want them to be able to Greninja me twice. But at that point, I kind of just win the game. So I'm, I'm so far ahead now. So we can afford a bench Mareep. I guess they're going to Greninja this thing next turn, though. Okay, maybe don't bench Mareep. Maybe just hold the hand, to be honest. I think we do just hold. Kill okay, Beach Court. Retreat. Boss or Shen Pao, take two prizes. They go Greninja, knock this out. I kill the Greninja. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'll boss the Shen Pao here. I don't know if this is correct or not. They could Iono me, I guess, but what are the chances they find it? I think it's fine. We can just bench Mew, actually. They can't. Then we can't. They can't. Blah, 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 they can't Iono me. Could Bravery Charm something here? If I put a Bravery Charm on Maridon, it has 60 HP. That's not going to make a difference. I think it matters where we put this. I guess we can put that here because they can randomly, like, chili me for a knockout, which is kind of funny. <laughs> sure. All right. Because this way, at least they go back Scalber. It makes it hard for them to get it back into play, I guess. I don't know. Just playing in my oats, I guess. Bravery Charm doesn't really matter where I put it. All right. Ticker two prizes. Hey, another energy sticker. We're going to be playing the casino again. We need those stickers to flip heads, right? So I can... Because I don't have a Flaffy in play right now. I need to be able to flip heads so I can make sure I can go, like, Raichu or something for a game. Yeah, this is fine. They're probably not going to bench another Shen Pao, though. But not right now, anyways. But we can just take two prizes back to back and the game's over, anyways. Or I could just Raichu knock them out. I could even try to go Raikou. If Energy Sticker flips heads, we can just kill this thing with Raikou, even. Are they going to bench that? If they bench that, I have the ability to just win here with Raichu. They can't bench that. If they bench it, I'll have to find Boss. I mean, I have two in the deck, I have Mew in play. I have an Ultra Ball in hand, a thin. If they Iono me, I can get closer to boss. So, like, I don't think it's a good idea to bench that. All right, Energy Sticker. You're going to be doing a lot of carry in this game, though, for sure. All right, what are they doing? What are they cooking? Retrieval? Yeah, they can Greninja the two prize KO, but that's just not going to not gonna be enough to win. They go to Cologne and Biebs. It's fine. Yeah, the game's basically just over. Because we can go KO Raichu, Maridon stays in play, then Maridon KO that. We're... Yeah, I don't think they can win this. Because the 90 damage also doesn't set up a Buster Tail 2-shot on my Maridon either. 
which maybe could have helped. I guess if they play a vacuum, things could get a little spicy. Well, they do have the Iono. Okay, they actually found it. Well, now I can boss Bibberol even or something. I don't know. Oh, there's generator and rope. Uh, I don't really need to play rope, do we? Not really, no. Good generator to Raikou. Do they find their last Pokestop? I would prefer... Okay, they do. I was going to say, I prefer if this uh, Beach Court stuck in play. But I could draw my other Beach Court now and then put into play, I guess. Are they going to play the Pokestop? I mean, it doesn't really matter if they do. They've kind of already done everything, so it doesn't really matter if they Pokestop. I'll just knock out the Greninja with Raichu, I think. I think that's correct. Or... Raikou. Ideally, we ra we go Raikou if Generator can hit two energies. Or we can find, like, a sticker. Still have two stickers left. I guess they can knock out Mew. This is just not going to... They're not going to win the price trade by even just killing Mew next turn. So it doesn't even matter anyways. We can shuffle the deck here. It's not going to put a Mareep in play. Yep. Iono's a lot. Well, we have Mew, but still, it's like Iono's a lot anyways. That's funny. Let's get another Maridon. Generator. One energy. Okay. Research. Could have mute, I guess. I mean, we got the attack anyways. Look at that. Can do this. We can retreat. Switch cart. I guess at this point, we can draw some more cards. Why not? <laughs> do that. Mew and Raikou for two cards. Let's see. Hey, energy sticker. That could be a pretty good hit. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Pretty big heads to flip. Tails again. Come on, energy sticker. You're supposed to be, like, good, bro. What the heck? Energy sticker, let me down. Kind of get energy sticker into this. All right, we'll knock out this Greninja here. And the game's basically over. They can't win this turn. The switch card there made it so they can't just, like, rod Greninja back and do anything crazy. But it's, like, game over regardless. There's no weird plays they can make. I don't know. I think it's just game. I mean, we could whiff, uh, we could whiff the attack with Maridon, but like Raichu KOs Shen Pao too. So there's nothing they can do, and the game's just over. The game is effectively just over here. Through the power of Energy Sticker Flipping Tails, the game is over. I mean, we got that one hit. And the energy on the Flying Pikachu kind of matters because it just makes Raichu stronger. As long as we just get energy into play for Maridon or Raichu, it's still Shen Pao's just get destroyed. They have to go Shampao, but I have game with Raichu. They have to cross switcher my Raichu and hope I whiff an energy, but I have I have research. And I have boss in hand, so it's checkmate. There's like not, literally nothing they can do. The game's literally just over. The game is quite literally over. There is nothing they can do to win. They have to have like Avery Echoing Horn or something. <laughs> That's like it. The Avery Echoing Horn wins in the game if they can go Greninja twice. No, not even because I healed Mute. Yeah, it's checkmate. The game is the game is literally over. There, it is impossible for my opponent to win. Knowing their list, it's literally impossible for them to win the game. There's no play they can make that can win. If they had another Iono, I got Mew in play to draw me cards. I got Boss in hand. I have Research. Yeah, it's like it's impossible to win. Anything gets killed by Raichu. The game's over. It's impossible to win. Let's see, they got it like that. Four cards in hand. Let's see it. Can they do anything? I don't think, though. There's no card I can think of that can win them the game. Like, it's literally checkmate. It's literally checkmate. Come on, Turbo Maridon. You got this. Do they got anything? Yeah, that's game. Okay, sure. T opponent conceded. Let's get it. All right, but well, we are going first, and my hand's actually pretty insane, to be honest. Jeez. All right, what are we up against? Halucha? Hmm, I actually don't know what this could be. I don't need to do Squawkabilly, in all honesty, because I actually don't know. I'm going into this blind. I actually don't really think I want to do Squawkabilly, because, I, yeah, I don't know what I'm playing against, so... Might pass on it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Oh, the generator whiff? No shot. Okay, maybe we do have to do Squawkabilly. Yeah, we're going to have to. Sorry, energy sticker. Yeah, I need to get energy in play. Speak of the stickers, we do two stickers. Not much else. Nah, I'm just going to pass. I'm not going to play the Forest Seal in case they have vacuum. Again, I have no idea what I'm playing against. What deck plays... E what even plays Halucha right now? Like, is it a Maridon mirror match? Could be. Now I'm regretting filling my bench up. I don't know what this is, though. They have a battle VIP pass. Okay. 
Shadow Rider? With what, though? Okay, I don't know. Okay, well, they do have Level Ball for another Halucha. Okay. DTE on Shadow Rider. Pokestop 2. Whoa, okay, what is this? They are playing some crazy rogue deck. I have no idea what I'm playing against, but I'm all ears. Gotta evolve them Reap because they can knock it out with Shadow Rider. I'm all ears. Yeah, I don't know what this is. We're gonna find out. Can they even build Shadow Rider up this turn and do Astral Barrage? No shot, right? Like, what am I what am I up against? They have a lot of weird stuff. Pokestop, Palpad, Greninja, Double Halucha, Shadow Rider. What on other, other battle VIP? What is this? Reggie Gig. Oh, I see what they're playing. They're playing some kind of like weird board control deck. I've seen this before. That's fine. This thing's got 240 HP. It is a thick lad. It's fine. We have uh, Raichu to blow Gigas up. We can kill the Shadow Rider, hopefully, if all goes well. Gotta find something to get energy into play. Oh, they have Melanie. They actually pulled off a turn one attack with Astral Barrage. It's fine. We can actually get Raikou here and build it up a bit easier. That's fine. Hmm. Sure. Okay, that's... I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. We have Mew to copy, but Mew's not going to do anything. All right, we'll see we draw. That's good. I think I'm going to play the Pokestop then. Okay, well, hold on. First things first, we're going to Tandem Unit. I think I'm just going all in on the Maraidon. I need to put... I got to get a Flaffy in play. So I'm going to need Raichu. We're going to Pokestop to see if I can get what I'm looking for. Rope. Okay, we got energy. I was hoping to get energy in there, so I can at least try to get an energy sticker to get an energy on my ride on. I can guarantee the knockout. Nice, there we go. Okay, energy sticker. Good boy. Alrighty then, sure. This thing might get knocked out though, which kind of sucks. It's fine. Um could hold the hand, because I have another energy sticker, and I could just not waste it. I also have boss and rope in hand. Yeah, I'm down to hold the hand here. Conserving the energy sticker actually could be relevant. I don't know if this is correct or not, but we st I think it's fine. We still have generators. Yeah, this is fine. We'll take our prizes. Energy and rope. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I think it's fine to hold. Because, like, if they don't knock me out, I can just, like, rope and kill their squawk and stuff. We have a lot of plays we can make. What does Reggie Gigas do again? I need to look this up. I completely... I know what Gigas does. But I just forget his V-Star power. I need to look this up. What does it do? Star Guardian. During your turn, your opponent has exactly one prize remaining. Okay, it's fine. There's Pokey Gear. All right, can they do any more shenanigans this turn? They have another Melanie. Okay, then. Turbo Regigigas. That's what we're playing against, I guess. Pokestop. Nice, a double turbo. That's a good discard, especially if they don't have another one in their hand. They can't get it back into play. There's the V-Star. So we need to ride to them this turn. Unless they whiff the double turbo. Please whiff the double turbo. If they whiff double turbo, we can kill the Squawkabilly. Which I will happily do. Three Haluchas. Should I be scared? No! God, they still found it. Okay, we have to blow them up with Raichu this turn. It's very possible to do that. Okay, if we just knock him out with Raichu, bro, this game's over. That's the plan. Okay, we got Pokestop, Forest Seal, Energy Sticker. Okay, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Oh, and that too? Okay, they're cooked. Wait. No, do we... Oh, the Raichu's prized. Oh, God. Okay, we have the Iono. Dude, the other Raichu's prized. Okay. Change of plans. I didn't realize it was prized. We have to try to get a Bravery Charm on. Okay. Let's go Generator. Useless. Fine. If Energy Sticker flips out, we can go Attach and then Flaffy. Okay. That generate I see stickers good. Should I put on Raikou? If I get a bravery charm, Gigas can't kill my uh, Maridon. Actually, it can't kill Maridon anyways because it's a double turbo. Okay, I thought this did 240. We definitely have the Iono, but if I if I with the Flaffy though, this is kind of sus. But I could get another like generator though too, or another energy sticker. Plus we have the gen we have the uh, Pokestop, so this is fine. We have Mew also. Ah, right, I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. Feeling okay. Yeah, look at that. Never a sweat. 
Should I put the beach cord in play? I don't think I should. I want to. Well, I don't want them to have a free poke stop though. But they've already like, bro. They've played like a gajillion items. There's no way they have anything left that is like good enough for them to put back. I think it's fine. Might even just. Nah, I kind of need the beach cord though. Could play the poke stop to try to gamble for a generator, which isn't bad either. We could easily lose this game. I'm not going to give them Beach Cord. I don't want them to have, like, Rope and Boss either. Because, like, they have, um... They can't attack next turn. So, this is fine to just hit them. But at the same time, Ultramon would have been good to find Boss for next turn, too. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Pokestop, they got a level Ball. See, there's nothing... Surely, there's no way Pokestop gets them anything useful. Oh, well, they found Poke Gear. It fails anyways. Yo, let's go, baby. Okay, maybe I should have got rid of the stadiums. They had Poke Gear. But luckily for us, it failed anyways. Force Seal Stone, they've already played their V-Star power. Level Ball? Yeah, nothing in the deck. All right. Boss? Oh, God. See, now I'm glad I... Okay. That's fine. They did have a boss. Damn. Killing Flaffy, though, isn't like the end of the world. Try to get Rope here. Rope's at the bottom of the deck. So it's Ultra Ball. What the Pokey stop? I got to find this Rope. Nope. Oh, God. What I lose? Double Energy? That could be worse. Yeah, I need to find rope. Rope boss would be poggers. Do we ever build up Mew? No, we should build up Raikou at least. Okay, Mew, come on. Rope and boss one time. Research. Could get rope still. No. Dang it. A lot of energy, though, which is good. I mean, they have to have another boss in their hand, though, right? Surely they don't have another boss. I guess I should save the energy sticker. I should, uh, you know what? I should have attached to the Flaffy. I should have put energy on because they could just not, they could just not knock me out here. Hmm. What are the odds to get a third or second boss? Hmm. Yeah, I should have put energy on Flaffy. That was a misplay. Because they're probably, well, no, they have to knock me out because they just knocked me out. They need one more two prize KO to win the game. So I guess it is correct to kill Flaffy then. So attaching to Flaffy wouldn't have mattered, I guess. We still have the Raichu. We can get the Raichu out of the prizes and then nuke something, I guess. Just because Regigigas V's got 240 HP. That thing is thick. I can't knock that out that easily. So I have to use my last thing on Raichu. So we should probably save the sticker and generator for Raichu potentially. Okay, what are they doing here? If they bench a Regigigas V, it might actually be correct to go Maridon instead of Raichu because they might have like a vacuum combo to kill that. I Yeah, I don't want to lose to like that. Oh, they do pass. Yeah, see, I kind of got punished. Could I own on a rope? I don't want to Iono them, though. Or do I? Nah, I don't think I want to Iono them. It's probably not a good idea. I just want to chill here and do nothing. I'm down. Now they have to draw something to save them. I'm not going to give them three new cards. Four new cards, actually. Technically, the top deck, yeah. I mean, I could get the rope. But, like, I still got to go KO Regigigas Squawk to win. So it doesn't really matter. Is my opponent even playing the game, though? They're down a lot of energy, too, so that's not bad. Well, not a lot of energy. They have a lot of energy there. Like, there's some energy. Are they playing the game? Dude, don't tell me. Did their game crash or something? Why? Like, what just happened? Are they even playing? Bro, are they even playing the game? Dude, what is going on? No, oh, don't tell me their game, like, crashed. Because they're not... What? What? What happened? Did there, like, game crash or something? Clearly something happened, or else they would be playing. Dude, what? I don't know. I don't know if they're AFK or not. I actually can't tell. Alrighty, then. Hopefully they're playing. That'd be pretty bad if they weren't. Okay, fleet-footed. Give me boss. Nest ball. I guess we can Iono, then. Yeah, we should play the generator then. No Iono. Then I guess I should have Iono before Fleet Footed. Because all we need is boss to win, and this can definitely get us boss. Nope. Rope. Mm, okay, that's fine. We'll just knock him out. I definitely, yeah, maybe I should have saved Fleet Footed. It could have got us closer to boss. Anyways, kill the Gigas. I think the game's probably over. They have no Pokemon in play to attack with. Like, what can they do realistically? 
There's Generator, no Raichu. So if they bench a Regigigas, I can't one-shot, but we still have that Squawk in play. Yeah, I think my opponent went AFK or something happened. Their game crashed. Dude, don't tell me that's what happened. Clearly, they're not here anymore. They're not playing the game. Dude, how does that happen, bro? What? Oh, my God. Yeah, I think they're. I don't think they're here anymore, folks. I think TCG Live bugged out on them. I guess we're not really going to get a proper conclusion to this game because I think I think the game bugged out on them. They're definitely not, you know, they, something happened. Their game crashed or something. I don't understand how this happened so frequently. No, dude. They're playing a cool deck too. They're playing a unique deck. I wanted to see what other tricks they had in there. Because who knows? Maybe I wasn't going to win this game after all. I wanted to see if they had any other tricks. Yeah, the, the, the game's over, bro. No. Super Turbo Maridon. Maybe the Super Turbo Ride on deck is so turbo it causes the opponent's game to break. That's maybe what happened. You know? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Unless they're playing on their phone or something and their phone overheated or their phone crashed. I don't know this this client, bro, I tell you. And there you have that is Turbo Maridon in action with the addition of Energy Sticker for some extra energy acceleration. Honestly, a pretty cool card within the deck. This deck is really just all gas, um, in all honesty. Not playing the path definitely is a bit of a different approach to Maridon right now, but you do offset it with the addition of the Energy Sticker. And it does help maybe try to get those turn one KOs a bit easier. I definitely like the list. I don't think I would really change anything about this 60, to be honest. Maybe try to squeeze another, like, speech cord in, I guess. Other than that, I think the list is pretty much all you can really fit into this Maridon on deck but that'll be for me on the maridon video if you enjoyed today's video on super turbo maridon leave a like if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe down below help me on the road to reaching 51,000 subs thank you once again for all the support on the content recently as we slowly but surely approach paradox rift and if you want to see some paradox rift openings pokemon did send me two etbs and two booster boxes which i did open up uh the other day over on my channel so make sure to go watch that down below if you haven't already if you're interested and i'll see you on another video check out the shelf squad my second channel podcast channel Card crapping and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.